Welcome. This is video number 256 and lecture number 4 titled Poverty in Pakistan in a series of uh, lectures on rural development. Uh, let me start with the introduction of poverty and uh, I will first of all define what poverty is. Uh, poverty is a situation in which a person or household lacks the resources necessary to be able to consume a certain minimum baskets, basket of goods. The basket consists either of food, clothing, housing and other essentials and this is known as moderate poverty or of food alone which refers to extreme poverty. The most common method used to define poverty is the one which is based on income. Uh, according to Homer, regarding poverty, this is misery, the last and worst that man can feel and according to Jean, uh, he is poor who doesn't have enough, he is poorer who cannot get enough. A person is considered to be poor if his or her income level falls below some minimum level necessary to meet basic needs. This minimum level is called poverty line. According to Tudero, uh, regarding the three core values of development, uh, a person or a household would be poor if it lacks sustenance, that is, if uh, it cannot uh, meet basic needs and uh, number two if uh, it lacks self-esteem and number three if there is no freedom from servitude. So these are very important things for uh, poverty and these come under the definition of poverty. Sustenance, self-esteem and uh, uh, freedom from servitudes are considered as a uh, core values of development. So if they are absent, if they are missing, uh, then the household or the individuals uh, will be victims of poverty and they will be subject to poverty. There are some international organization reports about poverty in Pakistan. According to a UNDP report, more than 65% of Pakistan's population earns less than $2 a day. Uh, according to social policy development report, 88% of Balochistan's, 51% uh, of KP, 21% of Singh and 25% of Punjab's population is subject to poverty and deprivation. The World Bank development reports that due to the global financial recession poverty ratio uh, is increased especially of USA and the UA countries have pushed millions of uh, people around the world into deeper poverty. Almost 40% of 107 developing countries are highly export to, uh, exposed to poverty and uh, Pakistan is ranked 43 uh, and Pakistan is ranked among 43 countries who are most exposed to poverty. The Asian Development Bank reports that poverty is spreading in Pakistan due to the rising population, Pakistan's internal situation, agricultural backwardness, unequal income and wealth distribution, uh, high defense expenditure and increase in utility charges and rise in unproductive activities. The Pakistan's Planning Commission report says that poverty rate has jumped from 24% to more than 37% uh, in the last few years. This commission estimated that in 2007 there were only 35.5 million people living below poverty, but in 2010 their number increased to over 64 million. What are the causes? Uh, some faulty government policies are responsible for the prevailing poverty in Pakistan. Then lack of education is another reason. Overpopulation or high rate of uh, birth is uh, another cause of poverty in Pakistan. Uh, and high unemployment also leads to further poverty. Uh, the judiciary system is not ideal and that also leads to poverty because the rich can benefit while the poor are suffering at the end of uh, judiciary system, uh, there is poor governance, corruption is very high and uh, the agricultural land are subdivided and fragmented which leads to low real and production that also leads to poverty. Then there is materialism and uh, large scale import, Pakistan imports a large number of commodities. The balance of trade of Pakistan is in deficit so uh, our out payment are higher than our uh, in payment. So um, the GNP is low and per capita income is also low so that leads to poverty. Then there is 
the problem of law and order situation and uh, lack of uh, foreign direct investment in Pakistan, uh, political instability that also leads to uh, poverty in Pakistan. What are the effects of poverty in Pakistan? Uh, some people say that diseases are more widely spread because poor people cannot afford hygienic foods, pure drinking water, uh, which is more expensive, and they also can't afford uh, treatment in a private hospital, uh, even in government hospital, they cannot uh, afford uh, uh, treatment for diseases. Uh, many infants born into poverty uh, have a low birth weight, which, which is associated with many preventable mental and physical disabilities. Not only are these poor infants more likely to be irritable or sickly, they are also more likely to die uh, before their uh, first birthday. Poor families experience much more stress than middle class families. Besides financial uncertainty, these families are more likely to be exposed uh, to series of negative events and bad luck, including illness, depression, eviction, loss of job, criminal victimization, and uh, so on. Uh, another effect of poverty is homelessness or extreme poverty, which carries with it a particularly strong set of risks, risks for family, especially children and women. Homeless children are less likely to receive proper nutrition and immunization, and they experience more health issues. Homeless women experience higher rate of low birth weight babies, miscarriages, and uh, infant mortality, probably due to not having access to adequate adequate parental care for their babies and these families also experience even greater life stress than other families uh, how to overcome poverty uh, one of the way could be to increase uh, to promote and increase industrialization that may lead to high jobs and uh, employment replacement of traditional agriculture with modern and improved agricultural practices so that yield and production of crops can be increased. Similarly, we may establish uh, uh, ideal justice system, uh, resources, of resources should be equally distributed and merit should be followed. And we can also eliminate discriminatory policies so that uh, we can overcome poverty. And uh, inflation and other economic indicators and regulators can also be controlled, uh, should also be controlled to reduce or eliminate poverty. And we may develop investment friendly environments so that uh, production uh, can be increased and uh, employment uh, can also be increased, and that may lead to reduced poverty. Uh, we may give more feasibilities and concession to the foreign, foreign investors so that they could invest in our country and. Uh, uh, provide jobs to the local people, uh, dumping extremism and feudalism. Extremism and feudalism are two serious issues in Pakistan. We need to uh, eliminate or uproot extremism and uh, feudalism because that is the uh, these are the main causes of uh, poverty in Pakistan these days. Uh, we may establish more and more technical institutes in order to get people well skilled, and uh, we may also spread education and the network of educational institutes and also we may provide trainings and job opportunities to the people and uh, we may also distribute uh, some lands among the tenants and renters so that they can also uh, take part in uh, production activities and they can earn livelihood for their families uh, some people say that poverty will never end unless there are real solutions to end it and these solutions are based on economic justice and political change. Uh, the full equality between men and women in public as well as private areas of life, a worldwide minimum wage of $20 per day and the end of the child labor under the age of 16 with the creation of subsidy for scholarships, the guarantee of shelter, Healthcare, education, food and drinking water as basic human rights that must that must be provided free to all. A total redistribution of idle land idle lands to landless farmers and the imposition of 50% cap on the arable land devoted to products for export, uh, with the creation of a worldwide subsidy for organic agriculture, 
an end to privately uh, for private monopoly ownership over natural resources with a minimum of 51% total communal ownership in corporations which can control such resources as well as the termination of intellectual property rights on pharmaceutical drugs. The cancellation of third world debt with no reciprocal obligations attached and the payment of compensation to uh, less developed countries for historical as well as ecological debt and then an obligation of total transparency for any Corporation with more than 100 employees and 1% tax on all benefits distributed to shareholders of corporations to create unemployment funds. The termination of tax havens around the world as well as free flow of capital in developing countries and equal voting for developing countries in international organizations such as International Monetary Fund, World Bank, World, World Trade Organization and the termination of veto right for the permanent members of the United Nations Security Council. A commitment by industrialized countries to decrease carbon emission by 50% for a 10 period of time as well as reducing by 25% each developed country consumption of natural resources. Here are some conclusions. Uh, leadership has got central importance here. With proper planning and good government policies, the problem can be solved. All they need to do is to appoint competent and well-qualified economist, economists to help them tackle this issue and obviously their sincerity for its uh, solution cannot be ignored as well. A country economy is the backbone of its country. With its solution when it is saved, many problems will automatically be solved. Alone leadership is not enough for its solution. People contribution is also important so people of Pakistan uh, how to be responsible, uh, how to, uh, how to ro play active role uh, with equal share. And uh, people need to cooperate fully with the government and should be sincere with their own country and put all their energies for eradication of poverty. Ladies and gentlemen, click on this red button to subscribe the channel and don't forget to click on this bell icon so that you can get notification uh, about uh, other uploaded videos that uh, I'll upload for you soon. Thank you very much for uh, watching this uh, video.